This is the Saramonic ULM10 lav microphone, USB lav microphone. This right here, which is hard to see on a black t-shirt, but I'll show you B-roll. ULM10 USB A in this case lav microphone and you're hearing it right now. It's being recorded over there and this is the sound of it. And as a reference, this is the sound from the Rode VideoMic Pro, which is attached to my camera and no more than a couple feet away from me. And then this, one of the reasons I got it, is what a webcam microphone would sound like. So this is the sound of the built-in microphone on the iMac, which you're hearing right now. I'm getting good levels. I am about the same distance away as I would be for a webcam conversation. The webcam is near the computer. And in general, webcam microphones are just gonna sound not great. And as you can see, as I'm not facing the webcam, my voice, of course, has dropped off. I face the webcam, and it still just does not sound great. It sounds far away, it sounds hollow, um, like the microphone is somewhere far away in the room. In this case, it's a couple feet away, but that's enough to give this really not great sound. And then when I go back to the lav microphone, you can hear the audio is much better. Now, it's not as good as being on something like a dynamic microphone that is right close to your face because for obvious reasons, it's closer. But also this is an omnidirectional condenser microphone. So when I'm quiet, it's gonna pick up more of the ambience of the room than a dynamic cardioid microphone that's gonna reject more of that ambience and background noise. Full disclosure, I asked Ceremonic for this microphone because it's a gear niche that I need to fill. They sent it to me for free. I don't even know if they really know why, but the point is I wanted to review it, so thanks for sending that out. So the reason I wanted to look at this microphone is because I work with a lot of people. My job is working in audio and video production. I work with a lot of people who now, during a pandemic, are on Zoom and they are using a built-in microphone on their webcam. And we heard how that sounds, and they're coming from rooms that are not treated for audio, so it just exacerbates the problem and everything sounds terrible. No, I'm not in the bathroom. Oh, the microphone on the webcam. Oh. So there's a very low threshold way, or at least this is what I thought would be a very low threshold way to get better audio. I was looking for a low cost solution that could easily be sent to somebody. They could plug it into their computer via USB and then go. So there's a definite increase in quality just by getting that microphone closer. So for something like an audio only podcast, this wouldn't be a microphone that I would recommend because it does have a noisier or a higher ground floor where I'm gonna either have to do more post-production or you're just gonna get a little bit more noise as opposed to a dynamic microphone and if you're doing a podcast that's audio only, the audio is paramount, right? Someone puts you in their ears and we wanna hear clean audio. We shouldn't have any distracting noises getting in the way of what you're talking about. But for people who are remote, who are online doing conferences, speaking at something remotely, this makes a huge difference in the quality of the audio that you're going to get from that. And it's oftentimes all you need. In a lot of cases, people don't want a microphone right in their face and they don't want that on video. So this really gives you the blend of both things. It gives you a blend of all kinds of things, right? It gets the microphone close to you. The audio sounds much better. You don't have a microphone in your face, either blocking your shot or just looking ugly, especially if you're not a podcaster where the microphone is part of the whole thing. So it makes more sense. The microphone moves with you no matter where you go because it's clipped onto you and just stays in the same position with your mouth. Within reason, I could turn like this, but it is omnidirectional, so it does pick up all around. And it limits the amount of technical knowledge that someone needs to get better audio. If I give them a nice dynamic microphone, they have to set it up on their desk somewhere, and you have to apply good mic technique because it does reject more than what's right in front of it. It rejects more of the background then you have to employ good mic technique. So as opposed to doing all of that, you can clip on the microphone, put it in via USB, and you're done. So this seems to be a really good solution. I like the sound of it. The noise floor is a little higher than I would want ideally. Obviously in post-production, I can remove that. I have a great video that shows you my favorite ways of doing that, so check those out. And this is at a price point that most people can get into. 
Also important is the length of the cable. So this is two meters, about six and a half feet, and I'm plugged into the computer right over there. So it's enough cable to be plugged in and I'm running the cable down my shirt. So it's as clean as possible. A microphone clipped onto a t-shirt is not the best, but it's much cleaner than having the microphone clipped on, the cable going down and in the shot. If those things are important, there's enough length here to put it down your shirt or inside your jacket and then string along to the bottom through the computer and then have enough room to move. So that's the Ceremonic ULM10. You got a chance to hear it, ask questions in the comments. I'll answer those as soon as possible. Hit subscribe if you wanna follow up because they have other microphones in this wired series. They even have wireless ones that I'll probably also get and look into. I actually have a USB-C model that they sent me that I didn't ask for, so I'll try that out. It's for USB-C devices, including Android phones. But really, what I'm looking for here is a lav microphone, affordable, that can be plugged into your computer very easily and improves the quality of your sound. So I think this is a good solution. If you're looking for it, give it a try. Again, leave your comments. See you next time.